Now, the East African Breweries Limited Managing Director Jane Karuku has defended the company against allegations of fraudulent shareholding activities and illegal acquisition of EABL shares. Appearing before the Senate Committee on Trade, Industrialization and Tourism probing the claims, Karuku defended the recent decision by Diageo PLC to acquire 15% shares in the East African Breweries Limited, terming it a sound business investment and one that passed through the required regulatory approvals. The committee, chaired by Kajiado Senator Lenku Ole Kanarseki, put the executive on the spot to explain why the brewer has gone on a spree offloading the company's assets and drastically reducing its workforce. The committee is probing a petition that alleges a possible hostile takeover of the East African Breweries Limited. Here's Mary Morky with more details. A lot of, uh, uh, you know. Appearing before the Senate Trade Committee on Thursday, EABL Chief Executive Officer Jane Karuku defended the recent acquisition of an additional 15% stake in the brewer by a British multinational alcoholics beverages company, Diageo, terming it as a case of willing buyer, willing seller, and one that got the nod from the Capital Markets Authority and all relevant market regulators. Karuku Rukodon played fears that the AJO PLC acquired the shares for an onward transfer to a new buyer and also refuted that the intended buyer would ungainly have a controlling stake at the brewer. Can we say that EBL is on the verge of just disappearing to this because if they're owning our assets, your assets as ABL, or what is the motive? So, so first of all, I think the biggest assurance I can give is what the Senate is doing here and what is in law in Kenya. For any such transaction to go on, whether somebody is offloading shares, buying, whatever they are doing, it has to be approved by the various government bodies. It has to be approved by CMA, CAK, NSC, and any member of the public can object. The legislators tasked the EABL boss to tell the committee if there are any legal safeguards to restrain Diageo from selling its shares, citing the downsizing of the company's workforce as well as the sale of EABL's assets and a significant reduction in the brewer's corporate social responsibility, coupled with the repatriation of company's profits. Karuko defended the company and pointed out that EABL has injected $96 billion in the country and offloading the assets was a business decision. Madam Jane, you have talked about uh, that um, EABL is not being sold to anyone, but there is a massive uh, sale of assets. All these monies are uh, uh, taken to Diageo, uh, that's how you pronounce it. So uh, can we say that EABL is not EABL? is on the verge of just disappearing to this because if they're owning our assets, your assets as ABL, or what is the motive? Offloading of land, Tembo Circle, is so small compared to the investment that has come. Repatriation of funds is an unfair statement as well. What you're talking is a distribution to shareholders. So do you mean we are being discriminatory in terms of uh, dividends? So it would be but if the level of investment is so low and all we are doing is offloading a two-acre there, uh a glass there. The Senate Committee on Trade, Industrialization and Tourism is probing the acquisition of an additional 15% stake EABL worth $22.7 billion by Diageo Kenya Limited, which increased its shareholding in ABL from 50.03% to 65%. The Capital Markets Authority, however, says the transaction is above board. <laughs> Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV.